friends, let's understand the trade-off between LLM's context length and the recall in retrieval operations. Okay. So we often want to leverage LLMs on our private or custom data, right? There are a couple of different ways to do so. In method one, we can fine tune the LLMs on our private data so that the data gets converted or stored in the form of weights uh, in the fine tuned model. But this process is uh, very expensive, time consuming, and we also need to prepare uh, the training data. And more importantly, we need to train multiple models for multiple applications uh, requiring different data. For example, maybe on medical documents, maybe on legal documents, maybe on customer uh, uh, documents, etc. Right? And the second method uh, is much simpler and straightforward where we simply provide our private documents at the, form at the time of inference. So here we have an LLM and we are asking a question and along with the question, we also provide our private documents so that the model uh, is able to answer. But we have a context length uh, limitation here. For example, the earlier version of LLMs, they can accept only up to a few thousand uh, tokens. Uh, token is roughly uh, uh, about uh, 0 0.7 words or we can say 100 tokens is roughly uh, 75 words. Now then uh, the next version of LLMs, they have few tens of thousands to a few hundred thousand tokens and even the latest LLMs, they even have uh, over million tokens. For example, Gemini uh, Pro, it has about 1.5 million tokens, I think. Right. Now, as I mentioned, let's say we have a very, very large document. Okay. But the model we are using is GPT 3.5. So uh, let's say it's a 200 page manual, uh, which has uh, about 125, 128,000 tokens. Right. So we cannot fit all those tokens uh, when we use GPT 3.5. Right. To overcome this limitation, we have this third method called RAG. Okay. So for example, here uh, in the context, since we cannot fit all the documents, we have uh, created uh, uh, the left part of it, right? So we start with all the documents, we use an embedding model, we uh, create a vector store. And then when we ask a question, we retrieve only the relevant documents from the vector store. And to the LLM, we provide only the relevant document along with the question. So this way, even though our original document has, let's say 200 uh, uh, pages, we will extract only those couple of pages which are relevant to our question and we provide the LLM uh, only those couple of pages along with the question. But this process require uh, developing the vector store, uh, chunking the documents, uh, an additional LLM model for embeddings, uh, so on and so forth, right? Now, can we get rid of this? Uh, that's, the, uh, that's the reason why uh, there is a lot of research in trying to increase the context length of LLMs, okay? Uh, so that we can provide all the documents uh, at the time of inference rather than building this uh, vector store. But let's see if, uh, if this idea always works, okay? So Greg uh, Cambrot, uh, he has done an excellent uh, experimentation to understand the trade-off between the context length versus the recall. So what he has done is he took uh, some uh, this Paul Graham essays as the background text and then he inserted a very space big piece of text at very carefully designed uh, places uh, within the larger text, right? And then he asked a question relevant to that specific text, which we are calling it needle, okay? So this way, we can test if an LLM is able to retrieve the needle from this background text, uh, which is called this haystack, let's say, right? So we are trying to find this needle in a haystack. So this is how it looks like, right? So let's imagine uh, all this is our document, right? So it's a, let's say, thousand page document or something like that. Then in experiment one, what we do is, we insert the needle or that specific carefully designed text at the very beginning of the text, 
okay and then we provide this whole thing as a context to llm and we ask a question relevant to uh, the needle we inserted and then we check the response of the llm how good uh, it is uh, is it able to uh, find that needle in this given uh, whole piece of context okay yeah so here we have a document with token length 1000 and our needle is this china population uh, is over 1.5 billion and it's the most popular country so that's a very carefully designed text which is very different from uh, what these uh, paul graham uh, ssr about okay so that's uh, a token length of 1000 and depth uh, zero for example if we look at this one it's again the same piece of text uh, the token length is still 1000 but our needle this china's population uh, uh, a statement is inserted at the very end of the document okay so this way we have carefully created different contexts and inserted the needle at different places within the context now we provide that context to the llm and check how good the response is okay so in this plot what we are seeing is this is the context length for example let's let's say uh, we fix the context length to, to be uh, 10000 tokens so we are looking in this vertical direction okay so the context length is fixed now here we have the depth where the needle is placed right for example if the needle is placed at the very top of the text uh, context that would be 0% uh, depth right this is at the very end of the text and this is somewhere in the middle okay now here we are seeing the retrieval score okay so the green one uh, meaning uh, the model is able to retrieve uh, correctly right uh, so how do we evaluate we use another llm and to that llm we will provide hey this is my contact this is my question this is what uh, the llm has uh, answered now uh, is this correct uh, can you rate it between uh, 1 to 10 right so we are asking you to rate between a score of 1 to 10 so 10 means uh, it's green it's perfectly correct zero means uh, it's completely unrelated text uh, so the recall is zero okay now some interesting observations so what's happening is whenever we have a smaller context length now this is for uh, a gpt4 model which has a maximum token length uh, uh, of 128k so up to about 64000 uh, tokens no matter where in the context the needle is we are able to retrieve it accurately okay as the context length is increasing the model performance uh, start to degrade especially in this region okay so for example if our context length is 128 uh, to thousand tokens and if we place our needle at the top of the document uh, somewhere between let's say uh, 5 to 10 percent then the model is not able to retrieve uh, the needle correctly okay so we can have these llm models with uh, larger and larger context length but they may not be able to answer uh, the recall issue correctly right so we might still need uh, the rag systems uh, so that instead of providing these million tokens at the time of uh, inference we will have this Victor store and we might uh, extract only thousand or few tens of thousands of tokens and we provide only those selected uh, tokens or context uh, at the time of inference now this not only increases the accuracy of the models but it also reduces the latency because the larger the context we provide uh, the longer llm takes to process uh, all the document right so the pricing is also dependent on uh, the context or the number of tokens we use so the pricing increases uh, latency increases accuracy reduces right so we may have uh, better and better llms in the future where even in these regions we might get better results but as of today we still need rack systems uh, to overcome the recall accuracy issues now uh, Greg, he also did more experiments uh, with cloud model. Uh, this is the latest cloud model. Uh, as you can see, uh, this one has a context length of uh, some 200,000 uh, uh, tokens, but this model performed uh, uh, 
relatively bad right compared to uh, the gpt4 so even when we have uh, the context length of let's say around 20000 tokens the model performance already start to degrade here now recently there is another open source model uh, the authors call it a large language model and they say it can take the context length of 1 million tokens and these results are too perfect right so no matter what the context length is no matter where in the text uh, uh, the needle is uh, the retrieval uh, recall is perfect now these results are too good to be true i mean it still need to be verified for example these two uh, the developers of the models are different and uh, uh, greg uh, uh, he doesn't work for uh, either uh, cloud uh, or uh, open ai okay uh, anthropic or open ai right so this is independent verification whereas these model results uh, are provided uh, by the developers of the model itself so we still need to have some uh, independent verification of these results uh, but uh, i hope uh, it become clear to you why a larger context length uh, is not necessarily uh, a great thing uh, for recall and why we might all still need the rag systems okay so in the next video uh, we will uh, go through the code uh, again uh, it's developed by greg uh, and we will generate uh, these results uh, of course we wouldn't be doing this for uh, 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 gpt4 because it would cost a, a few thousand dollars so what i would do is uh, i'll take one of the open source model and then uh, we will try to repeat these experiments so that we have more clarity on uh, how to uh, do these things uh, that's it for this video thank you very much